Caught on camera, a police pursuit in Warren as officers go after thieves who broke into a car dealer's business, stole two vehicles and 100 sets of car keys. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Amira David. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead shows us how it all unfolded and why police believe more members of the auto theft crew are still out on the loose. Police say it was outstanding work by officers who not only apprehended two auto theft suspects, but also took a handgun off the streets. And they say it all started with an alarm call here at Andy's Auto Sales. Trailing two suspected crooks, Warren police head down Nine Mile Road just after 3 a.m. Their sirens blaring and lights activated. Soon after, the driver and passenger in this stolen Chrysler 300 bailing out on foot and landing in handcuffs. Passenger was seen to be reaching towards his waistband several times, which is obviously a cause for concern for us as far as weapons go. And when he was arrested, there was a brief struggle, but a handgun was recovered. Less than 12 hours later, we visit Andy's Auto Sales on Van Dyke, the family-owned business where it all began. The manager calling our attention to these shoe prints, fresh evidence preserved by the cold, and repairs now being done on a garage door window that was busted out. Thieves also cut power, hoping to disable cameras and a siren, but they failed to shut off an automatic call to 911. They ransacked it, tore the alarm off the wall. Nearly 25 years after opening up, manager George Porto points to how times have changed. This is the second time in a month. The first time wasn't as bad. It took four really expensive rims off a car. Yet he's grateful detectives found 100 cents of stolen keys, and he's still hopeful they'll catch two to three others behind this job and recover another stolen Chrysler town and country minivan. Not going to let it affect, you know, all the time that we've been here. The 17 year old driver from Detroit faces fleeing and eluding auto theft, breaking and entering, resisting and obstructing and other charges. The 20 year old passenger from Detroit faces similar charges and a charge of carrying a concealed weapon. We're going to be contacting other jurisdictions that may have had similar crimes and it will be investigated thoroughly. Police also say nearby used car lots had similar shoe prints left behind. The suspects remain at Warren PD pending an arraignment. Warren police also say this case could be tied to another very similar one in the city of Detroit. If you have any information, call Warren police right away. From Warren, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you. These